Hello, this video will introduce you to the two resources Reaxis and SciFinder and to the tutorials linked to below. Reaxis and SciFinder are useful to both chemists and to chemical engineers. There is content in the two that overlap, however, each one has its purpose and strengths. This video will hopefully highlight which one to use when. Reaxis is a great resource for compound properties, reactions, and literature. Its strength, though, is in its indexing of properties and reactions. Think of it as a more extensive CRC handbook or a more extensive version of the physical and chemical data section of Prairie's Chemical Engineer's Handbook. Reaxis has many more compounds and many more properties. Some of the properties in Reaxis include thermodynamics properties, physical properties, and spectra. All of these properties are taken from research literature and are useful for comparing with your experimental values. And because Reaxis records values from individual experiments, um, there will be multiple values with different experimental conditions, unlike handbooks, which often report one value at standard conditions. To learn how to search for properties, um, go to the Using Quick Search in Reaxis video link below, and then click on the Property Searching button at the end of that video. Reaxis also allows you to search by molecular formula or by drawing a structure. Uh, molecular formula searches can be useful when you're searching for inorganic or organometallic compounds, and structure searching can be useful uh, for finding similar structures. To learn how to search this way, click the Substance Searching button in the same Using Quick Search in Reaxis video. SciFinder is uh, more of a literature index. So use it to find published research on a topic. Published research includes articles, patents, some conference proceedings, and technical reports. Depending on your discipline, it is complementary to Reaxis, Web of Science, Scopus, and Compendex. Note uh, that an account is required to use SciFinder, uh, and this is separate from the university account. You can sign up for an account by using the SciFinder link from the library page. I will show you how to get to that near the end of this video. SciFinder has a lot of support materials, but I suggest to start the introduction to SciFinder tutorial, which is interactive. It's on the SciFinder training page linked below. It leads you through sample searches where you need to click the appropriate buttons in the tutorial to advance. However, you can skip between different sections of the tutorial. Um, it covers SciFinder's three search functions, a reference or topic search, a substance search, and a reaction search. If you want just the absolute basics of topic searching, um, then view the three minute video search for a specific topic. This will show you how to find information about a specific research topic. Uh, on the SciFinder training page, scroll down to the reference searching section. It is the first video listed. All this being said, Reaxis does have a literature search function and SciFinder does report properties. However, overall, Reaxis is usually more effective when you want to search for specific properties, while SciFinder is more comprehensive when you need to find literature by topic. To access Reaxis or SciFinder, go to the library website and go to the databases listing. This is also where you would find the SciFinder link that you would get that you would use to get a SciFinder account. If you have any questions about this video or about either of these tools, feel free to contact the engineering or chemistry librarian through the library's webpage.